This is uh, Super Spanish or Magister or whatever you know me for. Uh, this is my strategy on how to defeat the spider boss uh, on heroic mode in the new Naxxramas. Um, so basically the spider boss's ability, see it all the way up here, uh, it returns two minions to your hand every time it casts it. It casts it every time, every turn, uh, no matter what. So you kind of just want to play around that. Um, a bit different from the other two, which are uh, literally straight up DPS races, whether it be with spells or with monsters, you know, no other way to really do those. This one's kind of interesting, though. Uh, you know, it made me build a deck just for it, so, I mean, that's actually kind of cool. Um, but basically the deck itself is extremely lame and extremely boring, and the match will probably take 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, and basically all you do is you sit there and you have the Earthen Ring... A Corcoran Elite, hopefully, and your armor power or shield blocks, and you just turtle and turtle and heal. Because what you want to do is you're going to take 0 to 5 damage every turn, basically, because uh, I don't know if I can see the new Next Ramus cards here. Yeah, I can. Uh, she will always, or usually, have in the early game, she'll try to play Nubian Eggs, and she'll always have a bunch of Haunted Creepers. What's good about the Haunted Creepers is when you kill it, there's two more. So that's just two more 1-1s. One -ones. And she starts out with two and will summon a second one on turn two. Or one if she decides to use the corn if she doesn't have something better in her hand. Uh, and I'm saying she, even though it's a spider and I'm not sure if it's gender. But I'm just assuming. Um, so you just want to lame it out with as many of these bastards on the field as you can with hopefully two of these or three if you're really lucky i don't even know if she has three in the deck uh so basically you're going to take five to seven damage every turn you want to mitigate that as best as you can i was taking six damage per turn uh in the run i won with it uh and basically you just kind of have all these really low cost charge and heal creatures along with low cost weapons and that's kind of the strategy behind it is Low cost cards that can't really be summoned back without another use to be played down. Uh, so also there's Novice Engineer in case you need a lot of card draw kind of fast. Uh, two extra cards per turn if you have both of them is really good. Uh, generally, if you have a third creature out there, like um, I just kind of have the Dragonling mechanic uh, just there for if I'm not drawing anything else. You know, just get more creatures out there. So. Hopefully, uh, they're the ones that stay out in the field. Uh, generally, she's just going to have like one of those uh, assassinates that only cost two mana things. And it's just going to ruin their day. Um, so, you don't really want to play three creatures unless you're really sure you're probably going to kill them. And basically, you're just laming it out. And you're just uh, armoring up every turn, dropping those earthen rings and those corcrons. Uh, you can use other stuff, like, um, you know, you, you just kind of feel it out. If you want to use a dark scale for some reason and only do two, um, or if you want to do a priestess and heal four for double the mana cost, which makes no sense, and you can't even play a charge creature on that turn either because you always want to armor up because then you're healing six, which, um, unless you want to do one damage per turn with the stone test board. Uh, and you want to make it a really long game and hope they just deck out before you. Uh, I would think this would also work with a priest, maybe a paladin. Same concept, healing yourself. But I don't think priest has as many direct damage attacks uh, as a warrior would with weapon selection. Rogue might work too, but doesn't have the same survivability. Uh, so basically that's the strategy that worked for me. And I hope it works for you. The card list, uh, you can read it. It's all over here. Uh, these are very easy cards to get. You probably have all of them from the start. I don't even know. A warrior's only level 8, so it's not that high of a level. I don't even have the Arcanite Reaper yet. Um, so yeah, that's basically the strategy. Uh, hope it works out. You uh, Maybe you want to do a battle cry deck with a rogue, though, and do a super DPS race. Uh that might be fun as well but uh this is what has worked for me uh, hopefully it works for you